Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Oki CB C71 8-in-1 USB-C hub. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, press that like button and subscribe. The plan is I'm going to be using this with my laptop and with my Samsung Galaxy S9 so I can take advantage of Samsung DeX. Let's get into the video. We have the user manual and a product warranty card. A carrying pouch so you could take it wherever you go. And the 8-in-1 USB-C hub. Coming in at a compact size of 4 by 2 inches and a thickness of just over a half an inch, it weighs about 57 grams and the body is made of plastic. On the top is where you're going to find your power LED indicator. On the side is where you're going to find two USB 3.0 ports as well as a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. Then we have our gigabit ethernet port. We have a USB-C pass-through charging port, a HDMI port that displays up to 4K 30 Hertz, a USB 2.0 port, and finally at the bottom, we have four rubber feet to keep it from sliding. Next, I'm gonna plug in a couple of things and take it for a test drive. For the first test drive, I'll be hooking up the hub to my S9 Plus, so I can use decks with my monitor, keyboard, and mouse. I'll just go through the desktop for this demo and launch a couple of apps to show the use of the keyboard and mouse. Each time you log into DeX, you're going to see a suggestion on the bottom right hand side saying to use genuine Samsung DeX accessories. Since I've been using the hub, I haven't noticed any issues running it. Plugging in a USB power supply into the pass-through port, when you look down to the bottom right-hand side, you can see now that the charging indicator now shows that it is charging my phone. For my Windows test drive, I've gone ahead and I've plugged in my Logitech Brio webcam, which is recording this footage, a microphone, a Elgato capture device, a keyboard and mouse, and now I'll be plugging in a SD card and a micro SD card. The hub has been a great addition to my desk setup and has increased the amount of hardware that I can utilize. The only change I would make with the hub is the length of the USB-C cable. I did find it a tad bit short for where I wanted to place the hub, since my USB port is on the back of the laptop. So this is where I'm going to end the video today. All the product links can be found in the description down below. And since you're there, hit that like button and help the channel grow by hitting that subscribe button to get all the latest videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.